to Chile. Midsummer is an event that is celebrated in all of the Scandinavian countries each year. It is celebrated around the 20th of June to 26th of June in connection to the June solstice. The solstice being the day that is the longest day of the year in terms of sun hours. That is to say, the day when the sun is at its highest. Midsummer, as celebrated in Scandinavia, has its origins in pagan rituals that precede Christianity, especially four Nordic rituals associated with sun worship. And these rituals survived as Midsummer, even after the introduction of Christianity, where it was kind of integrated into Christianity. Even though the Catholic Church, at least in Sweden during the Middle Ages, tried to stamp it out, but did not succeed. Instead, they came to kind of a compromise, calling it that Midsummer was part of praising John the Baptist instead. Thus, Midsummer became a local religious holiday in the Scandinavian area. This was not the first time that the church has adopted previous pagan rituals into its own theology. Because there are some evidence that they adapted the Sol Invictus celebrations as part of the Christmas celebrations. That was also a sun festival celebration. In this time in a Roman context. As Sol Invictus means the unconquered sun. And it was connected to the date when we celebrate Christmas. And they were celebrating that he would return. The sun would return when the sun was at its lowest. So adapting previous pagan rituals and integrating them into Christianity was not something new. And this was just a part of this. So Midsummer became integrated in the Catholic church practice locally in the Scandinavian region. However, even when the countries in Scandinavia turned Protestant and the Protestant churches of both Sweden and Denmark tried again to snuff it out. They did not succeed. And they failed just as the Catholic Church had failed before. And despite harsh suppression, it was to no avail. And the tradition was allowed to continue. And continue it has. Even to the modern day. And it's still celebrated to this very day. As maybe one of the most important events of the year for Scandinavian people. Remember, in the harsh coldness of the north, the sun is kind of an important thing and it's viewed very positively due to its association with harvests and the like. Now, the celebration of midsummer is very different from place to place. In the south of the Scandinavian peninsula and the Nordic countries, especially in Denmark, and some parts of southern Sweden, litting fires is very common. Having huge pyres to celebrate this event. It is actually not that different from how Valborg or Valpurgis night is celebrated. As both Midsummer and Valpurgis night are in theory associated with Saint worship. Saint Valpurgis in the case of Valborg's night or Valpurgis night. And John the Baptist in the case of Midsummer. Fire is here a representation of the holiness that exists. And the light of God. The fires can also be seen as a representation of the sun. As the festival was originally a type of sun worship. So this could be a surviving tradition from that. However, in the more northern parts of the Scandinavian peninsula, everything from the middle and up, Midsummer is usually celebrated by dancing around a pole, a cross-like pole, with two rings hanging from it. This pole is usually clad in, in greenery and with flowers. In the past, and sometimes even today, it is also clad with various types of grains, like wheat, stalks and the like. Anyway, making this pool beautiful with various decorations and decorating it in various flowers and green stuff and other types of decorations too. 
is usually almost seen as a competition between various people during this festival. In the past, entire villages tended to compete with each other of making the most beautiful midsummer pole. Now, some of you might have noticed the rather suggestive shape of the pole. And yes, it has the form of what you think it has. Because remember, Midsummer used to be a fertility ri ritual, or fertility event, where the fertility granted by the sun was praised. And various types of fertility rituals tend to blend together. So yes, it has the shade you think of, but I'm not going to mention it since I want to keep this channel child friendly. Anyway, people usually dance around this pool singing songs and having a merry time around it, if the weather permits. However, it's not just dancing around a pool or lighting a fire, but also food is taken and eaten. It's usually a feast. Of course, the food offered during midsummer changes from where you live. Inland it's more red meats, but out on the coasts of Scandinavia and the other Nordic countries, you have various types of sourced herring with potatoes and melted butter as a traditional dish. Midsummer is also associated with drinking alcohol, especially an alcoholic beverage called snaps, which is a small shot of a strong alcoholic beverage taken during the course of a meal, pretty much vodka most of the time. I don't drink, so I have not participated in this let's say, part of the tradition. However, another part that is connected to this drinking is that songs are often made in connection to the drinking of this type of alcohol, called snapsvisor, very similar to the poetry called Khamiriyat in Arabic, about poetry connected to wine drinking. It is shockingly familiar, in fact. And some poetry of national significance is actually recited during these times. Poetry in general is actually recited during these events. And it does not only have to be about the drinking of alcohol, but can also be about national pride and unity and the glory of the old days and remembrance of it. There is also another side of Midsummer, and that is that it's also considered in folklore and local tradition to be a time of magic when trolls become more active, especially during the night of Midsummer, Midsummer Afton or the Midsummer Night. And uh, thus, it also combines with various ideas about rituals in order to ward off these being so magic that prowl this night and usually it includes prayers against these beings in a Christian context and also in the past it was very usual that Midsummer was celebrated by church going as the festival is kind of connected in a way to Christianity through this kind of later connection through John the Baptist Thus, it was important to act in a Christian manner during this holiday. And in order to protect from the dangers that lurked in the forest. Thus, you usually made special prayers during Midsummer. However, to summarize, Midsummer is an event or celebratory festival that is a strange mix between older pagan tradition and Christian traditions. And it's also one of the great events of the year for Scandinavian peoples. And it's a great time of merriment for them. I hope this video has been informative about this festival. And if you liked it, please push the like button. And if you have any questions, Please post them as well. I will usually answer quickly. Please do subscribe as it would help the channel spread awareness about the humanities. 
Čtarek byl kanátem i padlikům.